Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy with another Christmas tutorial. Now I'm making a Christmas wreath, it's really easy, I'm using the famous Chanel stitch and only 80 beads and here I have a tutorial for another uh, Christmas wreath and you could check it out, uh, it's a totally different type of wreath. Okay, so if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this section. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations and I will also share them on my community tab on YouTube here for the other bidders to see them. So down there in description you will see a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are three colors of HO beads and here I use ear wires that are lever bags. You could use any type of ear wires you like. These are jump rings. Monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors, and these are pliers in order to attach those ear wires here. And he, and I will take about 1.3 meters of thread on my needle, which is 52 inches, if you measure in inches. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, and I have my thread on my needle. And I'm going to start by picking up four of these beautiful green beads. Okay, here I have my four. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. And here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then I make one more knot. And this is called surgeon's knot or half hitch knot. It's called in many different ways. Okay. So now I'm going through the following red and in this way the knot is hidden. Okay. And now guys, what I want to do is take one red bead, just one, and go through the following green. Then I will skip here, I won't add anything. And I will go through the next green. And here I'm going to take one golden. Okay. And I'm going through the following. Okay. Now. And this, guys, is the way I start the famous chenille stitch. Chenille stitch, I guess. Okay. So now, guys, I have this. I will turn those two beads in this direction. Okay. I will squeeze them like that. And you will see why in a second I'm exiting out of this red bead, taking two green beads and going through the golden. and pull then I'm going to take two more green beads and go here through the red one okay and pull again okay now I have this you see here I have something like a flower from this side and I have four greens from this side and something like a flower from this side, okay? Now, in my next step, I'm going here through this green one. And I will do what I did in my previous row. I will take one red bead and I will go through those two green beads. I will skip this golden. And I'm pulling. 
Okay, and here I need one golden like this and go between those two green beads. Okay, and go like this and pull. Okay, this is similar to what I had in the beginning. Okay, two beads sticking out from both sides. And what I do next is the same thing. I go through this green one, through this red one, sorry, through the green and after that through the red one. And I'm going to take two green beads, okay, like this. And I'm going through this golden. Take two greens. Go through the red just like that. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going through this green one. Okay, and you see here I have golden, and I want to alternate the colors as my work is growing, okay, I will take a red one, go through the next two greens, then I'm going to take a golden one, like this, And you see here it alternates a red and a golden. And here in this side it's also a golden and a red. Okay. And it's time to go through this red one. I will take two green beads and go through the following golden. Just like that. Two greens, go through the red, like that. And now I'm in my next row and you know what to do. You add beads between your green beads, okay. Here what comes is a red one, you see, here is a golden so you need a red here. I like to alternate them. Of course, it's not obligatory. You might make one side only of reds and the other side only of goldens, whatever you like. I just prefer it this way. Now a golden. Okay, and I have this, you see, like I did before. I'm exiting out of this green one. And I'm going through the red. Take two green beads. Go through the golden. Two greens. Go through the red. Okay, you see golden, red. Go out of the green one. Here red golden. And I need one red. And here one golden. Okay, then what comes is to go through the red one here and add two greens from each side. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, and now you see what I have. A red, a golden and a red.
and I'm going to continue these guys until I have nine rows here and I will be back to tell you how to finish your earring. And you see guys here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows and I started my tenth row. And now I think uh, it's time to finish my work, okay? And in order to finish it, I want to connect this side to this side. And what I'm going to do is to add at my tenth, at my tenth element, to add only golden and red beads and not finish it with uh, green beads because I'm going to use these green beads here my first four green beads to finish my work okay and as i'm exiting from this golden i'm going through the very first green bead of my very first row you remember i started it with four beads okay my first row and then i will go here at the opposite side through this green and I want to connect it to this red bead. You see this red that's sticking out. I'm going out of uh, one of my green beads at the opposite side of my work. And I'm going through this red. And if you can, in one movement through the following green. And you see how this red goes between those two, two beads here. And I want to reinforce this part, okay? This is the golden that goes between my first two green beads. And then I will reinforce this row here that I'm connecting. Just the two beads go between my red beads I added in the beginning. Okay, this golden is here between those two green beads, okay, and I need additional reinforcement here. Okay, I will go here in this outer row. just going up and down reinforcing okay guys and when I reinforce this part it's time to make a knot and cut my thread and I'm doing this by making here a loop and going once going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following seed bit And after that, I cut my thread. Okay, now I have this. Okay, guys, and now as my Christmas tree is ready, what I need to do is add my ear wire, okay? And in order to do this, I'm taking my pliers, open up my jump ring, and I will go here through one of those beads that are sticking out, okay? Let's say this one. Okay, then I'm taking here my liver back and I'm going to squeeze back here and squeeze my ear wire like this. And now guys, my Christmas reed earring is ready. Okay guys, and now my Christmas reed earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas. And you could always like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me. Only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, links where you could buy supplies from, link to my store and link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.